This is a Kindle Fire, and basically today we're going to show you a tutorial on the basics of the Kindle Fire. It's very lightweight, so this is really easy to carry around a backpack or just anything you use for work. It's fairly simple to use. Once you open it, you have a few basic options at the start. This saves any websites that you've bookmarked. So if we click on this, you get Google, which is book, uh, the site I've bookmarked myself. And you can add bookmarks through here. Go to your history, your settings, change the name of the bookmark. Once you press OK, you're going to be able to go to your bookmarks by pressing this button right here. At your bookmarks, you're going to see many different pages, uh, and you can just choose them or rearrange them, delete them if, if they don't, they're not useful, or edit them. If we go back, you're going to be able to access your books when we press home and go to books right here. The first book included in the Amazon Kindle Fire is the Oxford American Dictionary. But by default, you need an Amazon account in order to be able to use uh, the features of buying books and getting additional books uh, for, for the device. If we go back, you're also going to be able to see that we have the ability to download music on it, to use videos, or include apps. Something very important about the Kindle is that it will immediately read YouTube videos without a problem because YouTube basically uh, has a flash player that is compatible with the Kindle. You're not going to have to download just about anything. You're going to be able to use uh, the Kindle to watch YouTube uh, downloads at a very fast speed. Just as, as fast as your uh, internet can go, it'll start downloading. So very useful, very practical tool. And so it'll change uh, wherever you put it. So if you put it upwards, it's going to go upwards. The, tilt, the screen will tilt by itself. Uh, go back to home, and we can check out a few things, which is the brightness on it, for example, right here. So make it brighter or make it less bright. Uh, we can also set the Wi-Fi and the sync option. Many people ask what the sync option is, is for. But basically what this thing will do is once it's plugged into your computer, it'll sync with the computer. So it's a useful tool, but uh, if, you, if it's not in a computer, it's not that useful. And you're going to be using your Amazon account for pretty much everything here. Uh, you can set your date and time through the settings, applications, display, even security or passcodes for the Kindle. So that's pretty much the basics of using Kindle. Uh, there are many websites that are conveniently arranged and can be switched around when holding and clicking. Uh, you can switch them around to the order you want them to be at. So it's a very simple uh, e-reader. Uh, I, I would recommend it. It's very useful for websites and it's very easy to read things on here. And even navigate, so it's very comfortable. So this is a Kindle Fire and basic tutorial.